Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my silent ritual and spell work. Um, I was inspired a few weeks ago by a television show <laughs> and um, it actually had to do with silence and um, it's really just been sitting with me. I've been sitting with it, I should say. I've been sitting with that um, something that the a gentleman had said on the show and he was referring to he was in the wilds of Alaska or the Arctic or wherever and there was no noise at all and he asked do you hear that and he said that is the sound of silence and that kind of it touched me and I sat with it for a while and shortly after that like within a week or two after that I watched a video and the guy was out in the forest and um, he was talking about how there really isn't any silence anymore and even in the forest and he had this you know the extreme microphone and he was uh, recording the forest and you can hear the birds and I mean it was absolutely lovely you just wanted to lay down there and meditate with all the sounds the sounds of the critters um, you know the uh, the birds and the crickets and the frogs and even the trees had a very almost eerie but beautiful hum they were speaking to each other it was really incredible and um, the la and then he went to the city and it was you know just a, an, an abundance of noise and he went to the beach and you know the river and stuff and he just wanted you to realize that and that that really where where and what does silence mean to you and we really don't know what it is we know what it is to be silent and we know what it is to silence our minds um have quiet that kind of thing but it's very different than silence and we got to talking about it one day at the store because it's been on my mind and I said, you know, even in the, the far reaches of the universe, as far as our satellites have been able to pick up, they pick up noise. You can hear the sound. And so uh, they're really, it's really hard to, to describe what silence is. And it goes deeper than that for me. I've really been on my detective work, <laughs> um, going through the different layers, as my friend said to me, she says it's just you you're always going through these layers and I call it dissecting but um, I don't know things touch me well anyway today's ritual or spell work I decided decided that although the spell work was for me and um, nothing major nothing major uh, just some assistance and um, and not even required assistance just uh, I just wanted to do it I felt like doing it and I thought you know I'm going to do the silent do it silently and although I do have I had music in the background and the air conditioners going and I'm sure you could hear me clunking and this and that what was what was silence was the intention of it so that was what silence was to me. So as you know, I do follow the witch's pyramid and to be silent. And I was silent about my work. Um, and what that did was it created silence for you, the viewer. And um, I showed a couple things to not talk about them. Um, and of course, I'm very private about my work anyway. But being private is not silence. So I'm going to leave you with uh, what you saw there. Um, which isn't really out of the ordinary of how I create my spell work um, as far as setting up my my altar and my my spell work this is not normally where I do my spell work I don't do my spell work inside the witch's cottage um, but if I'm going to record I'd rather do it here in the witch's cottage than upstairs in my which room which is my devotional room and I don't as you know I don't like electronics around my devotional uh, altar and stuff and so uh, and spell work messes not that it messes with it in a bad way but it does mess with the energy that I have going on between 
myself and my devotions with deity and, and all of that. So anyway, um, so there you go. Uh, thank you for joining my silent ritual. And, uh, and again, yeah, I leave you with uh, silence. Leave you with silence. See you soon. Bye, guys. Love you.